So what we have here is the first task says a homeowner has decided to install a solar unit. And what we did, what we ended up doing was the first thing we ended up doing was we calculated higher purchase and we said we use 10%, all right, for the deposit. And I don't know where we got 10% from, all right, but we had to obviously move it around until we got the correct answer there. So I'm just going to move this to the top so that that's there. So from here, we said GST is 1.15. Whenever you're calculating GST, what you have to remember is that GST is always 1.15 times 5025, right? I mean, in the, sorry, times an amount equals 5025 because the question says including GST. So we have to divide, we have to divide in order to get to the excluding GST part. All right, so that would be GST. Now looking at the 5025 and 27% of the cost, if we look at installation labor costs, we're saying 27% of 5025 is 1356. And so that's what the installation labor costs come to. So this higher purchase part here is completely wrong. Now the higher purchase that we should have, we said that the higher purchase deal for the complete cost, the complete cost is system plus installation. And so what we're doing here is we're adding those two costs over there. 5025 and 1356. And then we're calculating 7 20 parts of that full amount over there. So that's a fraction of an amount. And that's going to be what is my deposit. A deposit is an amount that removes, gets removed from a purchase price. So we get installation and we get the system, but remember we have to subtract the deposit. So that's going to be the total amount 4520.41. Then we have 363.63, 361.63, which is going to be over two years, all right, because we are given 4% interest that you have to pay over. So to calculate that, we have 0 0.04 times 4520.41, which is the amount that we pay after we put a deposit. And that interest is $180. But because it's for two years, we multiply it by two to get 361.63. And so we take the amount that we need to pay and we add it onto the original balance, which is going to be 4882. That's the actual amount we end up paying for. 4882.04. All right, and that's going to be that first part there. GST comes from that amount, and the personal loan for up to 10,000, we said, for the homeowner would be that for that price. Yeah. All right, and then we removed everything there, and we went down to option number two. Option two, we started off with 632, excluding GST, right? And I think we have this a little bit more up here, which was just about. And we're saying 632, excluding GST, into 632 times 1.15 because we want to increase it, right? So we get an increased amount by multiplying by it. And then once we have an including GST amount, we can see that previously what we did was we divided, but now we multiply. All right, so option one offers professionally installed systems with benefits of efficiency, reliability, and support, but at a high upfront cost. And the cash payment option remains financially advantageous by avoiding interest. Option two remains a much cheaper DIY alternative, but requires a significant personal effort and comes with risks related to system efficiency and maintenance costs. And so that's how we can compare the two. The one is DIY and the one is someone else does it for you and the benefits that comes with from there. All right. And the last part here they had was the subsidy reduction. And the government subsidy reduction 
we're basically given that it's 2 11th of the full purchase price. So we calculate 2 11 of the first full purchase price of 913 point. Now, I'm not going to subsidize you on a DIY. I'm going to subsidize you on a company that does it for you. 2 over 11 times 5025 comes to 913.64. And the discounted price, which is 5025 minus 913.6, will comes to 4 triple 1.36. And that's discounted because a subsidy reduces the cost. And it reduces it to 411.36. The new discounted price, including GST, is that. And we can then still remove GST after it is 357.597. All right. Now, does all the other savings, the deposit of 7 over 24 of the full amount, does that still apply? Because if we have to pay a deposit on top of that, that was even lower, right? But we could possibly talk about that maybe. So the long-term benefits, while option two is DIY to make cheaper upfront professional, etc. We have a higher purchase versus cash payment, where both options are appealing, but the cash payment remains the most effective, avoiding any interest charges. Okay, we value professional installations and the benefits of having some kind of reliability if we have a problem with that. Okay, so that option over there. Generally, the first, remember, is cheap. And the middle, the second option gets you normally to merit, but you could possibly get to change. And the last part gets you to excellence. Depending on your, this is just a brief concept, a brief idea of how we would possibly answer a question like this here. Okay.